Hey guys, it's Bronto. Just checking out this new game I just started. It's called Spindle. Just awoken into a new game, so let's just keep going, keep diving right in. This is a Zelda esque game, I believe, is in the description, which I'm a fan of. Let's see if we got any buttons or anything, any actives. Uh, controls feel really fluid. I like it. I feel like there's some momentum behind the run. Sound effects are nice. Particles are nice. Environments are nice. Collisions feel solid. No time for questions. We have to go. A little fish in the water there. Nice touches. It's minimalistic without being... Uh, too bland. There's a good balance of art without clutter. Got some special tall grass or something. Nice. There you are. It feels close by. What are you talking about, piggy boy? Mar. Or graveyard. Well, we know I can't go back to the graveyard. I believe I'm death. We'll have to go back there eventually. Dot, dot, dot. Dang it. Not here either. No dice, but we need to get in there. Somehow. Piggy's, piggy's cool. Good move with the piggy, I think. I think uh, you don't want to give the player a voice, so give give a little sidekick who can talk. He's cute. It's not it's not a bad idea at all. Okay, so it looks like we're probably have to go to the graveyard. We knew we knew we were gonna have to. Oh, here we go. There's a little hole. Um, I bypassed the title screen in an accident. Just decided to hit record anyways. There was like a, an option to play as Piggy, but um, I think it might have just been a different kind of side game or mini game. Not really sure. Maybe I'll check it out if I have time. Alright, so... We may be introducing a mechanic where we send Piggy into certain situations in order to accomplish the things we need to accomplish. Town is closed for the night. Or maybe it's just the fact that I am death. Nobody wants death coming in their house. I know I don't. Keep that dude out of here. I don't care how cute he is or how cute his Piggy friend is. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> he just got real. I'm here to collect. What's going on with him? Hey boy, what are you doing here? Oh, this is my father. He's the mayor of Mar. I think it's how I say it. There was an earthquake tonight, and I heard agonizing cries from the graveyard. I found him there on the ground, unmoving. Don't even know what he was looking for over there at this, at this time of day. The pain he feels must be endless. I can't explain it. I have the feeling he's not really here anymore. What should we do? Excuse me? You need to go to the graveyard. Or you need to go to the graveyard? I don't think that's a good idea, but if you insist. You received the graveyard key. I thought I was here to pick the old guy up. Oh, give myself passage to the graveyard. Fire hurts. Um, it's good to know. I don't know if I should have been able to hurt myself by walking onto the front of a fireplace. I didn't like crawl in there, guys. Come on. Good amount of detail inside these environments. I don't want to be Skyrimming it up digging through stuff for 40 minutes, but I like that there's stuff to look at briefly. This little farm area. Okay, we're probably supposed to stay on task and go to the graveyard. Um, I didn't actually see it. This old man, if I'm not mistaken, he's the one we're supposed to be looking for. And yet I sense his soul is at the graveyard. This old man was... Dying soon. I don't know. Sorry. Couldn't help myself. If there's gonna be some some uh, 
dialogue that starts like any lyrics of any song, it's gonna be sung. Not very, not very well fully done. Is this the graveyard direction? Oh no, the key. I'm sorry. I was reading the sign backwards. I thought, I thought the graveyard was to the right. The graveyard is up here this whole time. What a noob. At least I've caught myself for one all the way back to the beginning. Wasted precious seconds. Alright, so this is black stuff everywhere. This doesn't look good. But the soul has to be around here. The old man's soul escaped. Should I read, should I read all these? Or should I just hop in? Let's hop in. Alright. Switch mechanic. We're learning. Good job with that. We got a pushing box mechanic we're learning. Good job. Bye bye. I don't want them boxes. I don't want those crates up here. Oh! <laughs> so, so silly. Here! I sense the soul of the old man behind that door. Well, we have a chance to check out a little secret area. We're gonna do that first. Ah, uh, I need a weapon to destroy the bushes. Do these break? Yes, they do. Whee! Yeah, this is perfect. Oops. As far as pacing out, learning all the stuff, this is perfect. I know I'm not supposed to go this way yet. They've made it somewhat obvious, but not so obvious that I'm... Like, they probably should have made it so I couldn't get this far. Because now I'm going to go all the way in here and realize I can't go anywhere, right? Oh, that's a piece of your power. How's that possible? Or, other option, I try the door and it's locked, and then I go this way anyways. Now I wish I would have. Perfect little pop-up screen there. It was yummy. Weird. Well, let's keep looking for that soul. Now we have a express for slashy slash. That's good. Still, we're learning. We can't destroy everything with it. Yeah, hi yeah, hi yeah. Where's the coins we needed? Simple puzzle mechanic. Must destroy the bush. Must press the block. Must rejoice. There's the switch. Yes, yes. Yeah, should have. I should have approached the door and let Piggy tell me. Um, this is locked, bro. We're gonna have to look around. Then I wouldn't have felt. Then I wouldn't have felt like I was sneaking off, doing some. Some uh, rabbit trail that I, that I couldn't get me anywhere. That's alright. Now we, now we know where we're at. Ah, I see what's going on here. We got this one in the way. Crisscrossing bridges, man. There we go. Whee! Oh man, that was like walking on the... On the what are those things called? The airport? Not the escalators, but the... the ones that aren't elevated. Can I grab? Do I need a bomb? We'll find out later, I guess. Bats. Batses. Hey, what you doing up on top of the level? What do you think you're in Zelda? I do know that's Bats' special abilities. Oh, I knew where I had to go. It's just too slow. Um, oops. Oopsie poopsie. Can I squeeze through there? Oh, yes I can. <laughs> Yeah, we all know that bats are allowed to go on top of the level. That's just how they're that's how they're built. They're built different than other dungeon creatures. Um okay. That felt like it was for nothing. I mean surely I can do this now. But I feel like I didn't go everywhere in the in the bat area. Huh. Hooray! Some kind of tokens, death coins. Special enemies drop them if you defeat them. With these, you can buy upgrades later on. Alright. I ain't mad about that. 
I like upgrade tokens as much as the next guy. I was hoping to get some heart tokens. The bushes are stingy. The bats are stingy. I'm not sure how far back I'm going to have to go when I walk into these spikes in a second. And it will happen. <laughs> oh, that's even better than putting me back where I was. Could have spent all day dying there. Okay. You guys, you guys really don't want to give me any hearts, huh? You're just going to fly in circles. Knowing well and good that I need your hearts. Okay, we don't got no hearts. Maybe this is going to be like a heart bush soon. Okay, that's going counterclockwise. No secrets or anything. This one's also going counterclockwise. Go with the flow, you know? We got like a turtle guy. We're going to approach carefully because we have one more hit. Okay, he does a roll. He likes to go on off into the, the, the abyss. Nice little key. This thing looks like it's ready to shoot some, some purple goo at me. Or is it a friend? Or is it a save point? Should I hit it? Let's hit it. Hmm. What does R do? Ah, ha ha ha. So, this is interesting. It's almost like you're absorbing uh, absorbing life from things you fight. And you can fill it up once it's full. That's interesting. I've actually seen a very similar mechanic recently, but I like the mechanic. It's super unique. Okay, this is the way I'm supposed to go. I say it's super unique, and I've seen it recently in the same sentence, but that was just... A complete coincidence. Oh, I've never seen that before in any game, and I've seen it twice in one week. But, but yeah, it's rad. Look, now I have a little bit of a uh, gauge. I'm fighting. Can you fill it up any time, or is it only when it's full? Only when it's full, I guess. Alright, so... We're going for a white triangle. Have some rubble in the way. A light puzzle. I like it. Okay, so we're gonna try to do this. Get that in the top corner. We get this in the top corner. And could we do this one next? I wonder if I can play. Okay, I can play the D-pad, which makes these puzzles easier. Because the joystick is just, you just go all kinds of crazy diagonal directions you're not trying to go. You can easily push these blocks the wrong way. It scares me. There we go. Diamond number two. Seems like that should open now. Nice little dungeon. Good for, good for onboarding and getting a, getting a feel for... The, the game and the Zelda puzzles and the uh, healing mechanic and all that stuff. Okay, so I have to fix my bridges, right? Debridged. Rebridged. Oh, I decided to look down at my timer to see how long I've been playing. It's not so conducive for pit avoidance. I'll try to be more careful next time, okay? Here we go. So, is the purpose of this thing just to give me some... fill-ups? Seems like it. We'll take it. Sorry, eyeball dude. I'm gonna get all of your blue stuff. Before I need it to not die as death. Ooh, it looks like a boss shadow if I've ever seen one. Maybe like a big blob. There he is. Nice blob. Good. I was going for a cliche idea, but it's way not cliche. Okay, he's the he's the big he's the big big daddy of the uh, turtle dudes. Oops, is there a dash? Oh, a dash. That's when I would have used a dash. Tried all the buttons. There's no dash yet. There's yet to be a dash. Maybe there's like a roll I get from this guy. Do bosses give you goodies? We'll find out. Oh. Nope. 
simple boss, but not too quick. There's a fine line, I think, when designing bosses to, um, you know, do you go difficulty or do you go grindy? And I, I prefer a grindy boss early on. How do I... I just need time to do it. There we go. We're going, we're going all crazy vicious in our second half. Nice. Ooh. Is that the lifeline being broken? You really think you can ignore me? Man, that felt daunting. Who's talking to me? There we go. You know, that was the most fun 16 minutes I've had for a long time. Good job, guys. Or guy. I'm not sure who's working on this game. Um, that was a decent demo. It is likely with lots of demos to play for an hour and then kind of be like, all right, I'm good. Like, maybe I'll still buy it when it's out, but I played for an hour for free. That was a good-sized demo. You know, 10 minutes is too short, 15 minutes is too short. That was 16 minutes. <laughs> I could go for a 20 or 30 minute demo, but that was that was just fine. What else are we going to do? <laughs> maybe if I could have used those upgrade tokens back at town or something, that would have been fun. Hey, we can check out uh, Play the Pig now. Because that didn't take the full 30 minutes. That's what I'm going for. I'm going for 30 minutes. Uh, game footage is not final. Ooh. Now, here we go. Part of your power. We're showing off another section of the game, or perhaps something. Oh, man. I'm sorry I have my taskbar visible this whole time. <laughs> I'm coming! I just need to cave in and install OBS. I'm using a different... I'm using Streamlabs, which is not detecting this as a game, so I'm having to. Ooh, I've got like a Kirby move. I have to just stream my whole screen, which is bad. It's picking up. It's picking up sounds. It's picking up. Pew! Yes, love it. Isn't it great that I knew what to do right away? That's that's how a game is. That's how you know a game is well designed when you feel clever. Obviously, I'm not the one who put that rock there. I'm not the one who designed the mechanic to suck up rocks and shoot them. But I instantly knew what to do. There's no doubt. Alright, we got another light puzzle mechanic here. Slidey slideys. Anyways. Don't judge anything that you see on my taskbar. If there's anything weird there, I don't even know. I'm not looking... There we go. Oh, cool little cog. Can I suck it back up? Yes, I can. Why wouldn't I? Okay, so we got one that slides. Oh, there's a hole. Let's check this area out first. Can we push these? No. Okay, so the hole it is. Pushy push, pushy push, what's over here? Nothing. There we go. Now we can grab that. Can we shoot it through crates? I probably already knew that. I did that before, didn't I? Those aren't crates, those are barrels. Whee! Oh, there's there's the dude. There you are. You statue. You dead statue. Yeah, I'm excited to see this game flushed out more. Um, is there more to the town? Is there going to be more of a story involving the town? Seems like it. Is that the end of that? 
you gain regain a piece of your power. Ah, that's cool. So this is like a this is a part of the game that we are going to unlock that we we were excited to show in the demo. No doubt, man. No 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 blame there. Huh. We got a bouncy thing happening. I wonder oh. You know who's smart? Alright, teamwork it is. Let's make that dream work. How do I switch back? Why? Okay. Wait. Check the secret extra bush. Pathoink. That's a big cog. Come on, piggy. Alright, so we have more of these switches. We have a big cog on the way. Um, can I leave him there for a second? Oh. Can I leave him here for a second? Oh, I can, but... This is tricky. Missing a hole. I always get anxiety when there's branching paths in the darkness. Okay, so there's a switch to go that way. Let's try that first. Oh, I pushed it too far. That was because I'm using the joystick, which is not as uh, precise. It's too fluid, you know? I like the D-pad. Okay, am I doing this right? If I push it right, I can push it up. But then I'll get stuck on that. I have to go this way, probably. Yes, indeed. Push it all the way up to here, and I can push it this way. Ooh, no good. Okay, I gotta push it up to here, go around, and then push it left. I'm glad we had this discussion. Don't go too far. That's probably good. Twist and shout. I figured it out. I have kids. If you do too, you might get that. <gasps> Ooh, death coins. Do those stack with my other death coins I can't spend? There's nothing else over here, right? Oh, it might be. Bushes I can't get past yet. Ah, I'm glad we looked. We can go kaboink. That'll rotate one time. Of course it will. And that'll rotate too. Okay. So that looks like it rotates three quarters of a turn every time, which means f three or four turns. I didn't do the math in my head. We'll make that hole appear at the top, which means we can proceed. Oops. This dungeon's just as big as the main uh, dungeon, I guess. That's fun. I got what I wanted. I wanted a longer demo. I secretly did. It was perfect, but it's even more perfect now. All right, this is alluding to an, a big egg boss we have to fight soon. <clears throat> Excuse me. Death cannot break those. Oh, but he can be a statue boy. I don't know. I probably don't need to be a pig right now. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hold on. Hold on. Alright. That's not how you do it. It has to work out differently than that somehow. That's the first time I died. Go this way first. Just 
to make sure we can't. I like the egg dudes popping off the bush. That's a nice touch. A nice way to spawn them. Okay, so am I trying to s not step on that? Let's let's try to not do the thing that gets me hurt. Oh, the boulder's in the way though. So is Piggy Boy faster or something? I don't know. It's worth trying. Probably no difference. I know we gotta get rid of these bats, that's one thing. It's, it's mad true. Take it away, boy. Don't mind the background noise. Left my door open and I have sons. Um, hmm. Okay. Alright. More puzzly thing happening. This feels like mid-game content. Could be wrong, could be Dungeon 2, and then we just got to skip ahead. There's a hole there. There's a hole there. Um. You know we gotta try every one of these, right? To no avail. You know we gotta break all these, right? We just gotta know. Can I spit it that far? Alright, so we can carry the thing while we're death. Oh. Ah, interesting. Piggy will not follow you if he's loaded down with throat cogs. Alright, I don't know what I'm doing here yet. Let's see if this does something. Something else needs to happen. But I don't know what. Does this guy need to stand on this? Yeah, he does. Okay, but now. Oops. It's not be right either, is it? It does push. Okay. That was close. I almost had to give up. Alright, we sent that upstairs. Now we can puzzle our way through this. So. We do. Oops. Leave it there, silly boy. Oh, this might be a timing thing. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because the pig was on it. Silly pig. Couldn't actually figure out why I wasn't quick enough. That was close. I was made a fool of myself. Do I have to break these? Do I get to break these is a better question. Yes, I get. All right, fine, we know. There's not gonna be any, any goodies. Whee! Oh man, the gear puzzles are strong in this dungeon. I am nearing the end of my time. Can I complete this dungeon before I have to call it quits? Let's find out. I'll do this last puzzle. My goal with these videos is definitely to not go over 30 minutes. It's gonna happen every time though, I guarantee it. Alright, we wanna get off now. Nope. Okay, well. Ah, there's obviously another switch, huh? There we go. Send it on over. 
Let it come pick us up. He's gonna bounce. There we go. Clicky clack. more of those things yeah I was just gonna be great once we can spend those get more powerful the only thing I feel like is missing which I may be wrong about because I haven't played much of the actual game one thing I would like to see though is a little bit more um I don't know. Just a little bit more. That's maybe a stupid thing to say. The game's not done yet. I need that cog, don't I? It's like, it seems like, and this is, this is the opposite of what the developer probably needs to hear. <laughs> um, because feature creep is such a dangerous thing for awesome, fun, simple games like this. But I'm like, ah, I just want there to be like a... What is it? I don't know. I don't really need that right now. I want there to be like a different layer to all of this. Is there... Oh, got too far away. Ah, ooh, ooh. All right, so what are we doing with this guy? Are these guys actually bombs? get sucked up? Mm, not really. I'm missing something. Maybe it means this is a great time to stop playing so that you can play, and you can figure out what to do. Do we have a head pull? We have a head pull. And then we have a thwack thwack, but I was not fast enough for the thwack thwack. Here, get thwacked. Nope, oh, nobody for you. Nobody for you, mister. There we go, perfect. I felt good. Good job. You guys made the perfect size demo. Guy or girl or girls or guys or plural of either one. All the pronouns. You can have them. You can, have, you can take whatever pronouns you want, guy, girl, the things. Anyways, yeah, this is Spindle. This is this is a fun Zelda-like game. Um, I will definitely be keeping an eye on it. It's going on my wish list in about 10 seconds. I hope you do the same. Check it out. Play the demo. That was fun. I feel good about my last 33 minutes. So, yeah. Hi, I'm Bronto. Thanks for watching. I'll be doing a lot more of these videos as I figure out the best way to do it. Please give me input. I'm new here. I just saw a big need for putting some, some focus on some of these indie games. So, there's, a, there's another one. Great game. Definitely recommend. Check out Spindle on Steam. I'll put a link in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.